Hey guys, Ewan here with the Old School Labs. So Kai Green, another story of Kai Green, and I mentioned him a couple of times, I mean two times, my last two videos, and I said that he might be prepping for something for Mr. Olympia, because he looks huge, he looks shredded, there are people hinting that he might do something, and now we get this, we have Dan Solomon posting a photo with Kai Green, and he says, visited with my friend Kai today, can you guess what we were discussing? I mean, he could have very well said we were discussing him coming back to the Mr. Olympia stage, but he didn't. So, now I have two questions. One is, is Dan Solomon like Kai Green? Is he a person with no integrity? Would he be teasing us? Would he be lying to us? Making us believe that Kai actually is going to come back? Is he that kind of a person? That's the first question. I don't think he is. I really don't think so. No, every time he said something... It came true, he fulfilled it, so I think he's a man of his word, and I don't think he would be saying stuff like this. But the other question is, did Kai say no? <laughs> Maybe they just discussed it, and that's true, but Kai said no. I don't think Dan would post photo like this, I mean, they're smiling here, they're having fun. I don't think this post would be so positive if they didn't come to a decision, uh, decision being Kai actually coming back to the Mr. Olympia. So, I don't know guys, I mean, I'm not sure about any of this, but my estimate would be that there are like maybe 60, 70, 80% chances of actually seeing Kai Green on a, on a Mr. Olympia stage. After seeing this, I mean, this is a lot. Now I'm saying 60, 70, 80 because there is a chance of Kai dropping out at a final moment because that's Kai. Lately, it really seems that he only cares about business, about money, about selling his ebooks, about promoting himself. He lost all the credibility and integrity. And maybe this is his way of actually returning some of it. And if he actually does come back and he does well, he will return a lot of it. And he will actually regain so many fans, for sure. So many bodybuilding fans. And once again, I don't think Dan Solomon would be making this kind of a post if he didn't really believe that Kai is gonna actually come back. And there is also an interesting comment down below from uh, Chris Asito saying that Dan should go and visit Sean Roden as well because that guy wants to compete as well and he would make a hell of a show. He's a Mr. Olympia 2018. So anyways, guys, what do you think? Do you think this means something? What does it mean? What are the chances, in your opinion, of Kai actually coming back after seeing this post? What do you think? Alright, next we have Wesley Vissers with a new physique update. We haven't really seen a new one from him for a while, but there is this one and he looks absolutely ridiculous. I mean, take a look at the size of that chest and the separation in it. And he's not even prepping yet. No, he's in his off season. He's about to start his prep. So he kept a really low body fat percent this time around. And I'm sure he made some progress. Now, when you look at him right here in the gym, he looks like a Mr. Olympia, no doubt about it. I mean, he looks more impressive than Chris Bumstead does in the gym, uh, in the off-season, for sure, for sure. But then when it comes to, you know, stage presence, he, uh, he usually doesn't look that impressive. However, however, last year he was really conditioned, like a week out, and then on the stage it was not the same thing that we saw on Instagram. But then he said that he messed it up. That he somehow came, you know, watery, flat, whatever. He wasn't spot on. He didn't pick properly. He messed it up somehow. So if we are going to trust him, he would have placed higher last year if he picked perfectly. And now, with another year under his belt, after making some improvements, and if he actually manages to come, you know, spot on, if he picks perfectly, if he doesn't mess it up, mess up his conditioning. That's gonna be a good package. Anyways, this edition from the gym, I mean, this looks like, I don't know, one of the most impressive physiques in the world right now. <laughs> Honestly, like, very aesthetic, very, very, very muscular, very thick, I mean, conditioned, everything for off-season, complete. Like, look at, the, look at how much his delts are popping, and the arms, I mean, how, how full the biceps are, and then that chest. I'm sure he did chest before this photo, because it's super pumped. So, very good genetics, very, very big potential. I just hope he can actually get the conditioning down, improve the legs, improve the back. He has high lats, that's gonna hurt him always. But who is really perfect? Nobody is really perfect, and Chris Bumstead is not perfect. So, if he just uh, makes those weaknesses as good as they can you know, possibly get, and if he works on his strength, and if he actually comes conditioned, finally, that's gonna be a dangerous package, for sure, in classic physique. 
Next, we have a strongman, who is not a bodybuilder, of course, but he's doing some bodybuilding lately, and it turns out he has very good genetics, actually, for bodybuilding. So he's, I believe, four times world's strongest man, and now, I guess he's just taking time off of strongman training, and he's doing some bodybuilding stuff. Uh, and, he, of course, he needs to do something similar to strongman kind of training, he can't just do bodybuilding, but... I found his physique to be pretty impressive, actually. He has those long muscle bellies, very good symmetry and shape and everything. And now that he lost a lot of uh, a lot of fat and a lot of size, overall, he looks more aesthetic. And there is potential. There is visible potential for him to actually uh, not become right now. But maybe if he didn't choose the path of a strongman, maybe he could have been... Uh, I don't think he would be a good bodybuilder because he's too tall, but... There is some potential when it comes to creating a good-looking bodybuilding physique, for sure. He has he has good genetics, yeah. Much better than those of, for example, Thor, Hafter Bjornsson or Eddie Hall. So this guy has very good bodybuilding genetics, but of course he's not really doing bodybuilding, even though this training is bodybuilding training, so he's doing high reps. And these are 150s, actually, and he's playing with them. I mean, this is uh, his finisher, that's what he says in the description. So yeah, it's interesting to see what happens when strong men, when guys who are really strong start actually doing more reps and probably doing a little bit of a diet and actually trying to lose body fat and gain more volume to the muscle and actually get some shape. So we'll see what's going to happen, but as for now, he seems to be looking more and more like a bodybuilder actually. I don't know if that's going to help him with his strongman results or is he just taking some time off and instead of resting, he's doing bodybuilding which is a rest for a strongman when it comes to training, for sure. Whatever his goal is, he definitely does start to look more and more impressive every day. And it's very interesting to see his body progress like this. Next, we have Hunter Labrada with another physique update and weight update. He's in his 280s and that's heaviest he has ever been. So I'm very curious what he's actually gonna look like when he decides to do a show. I'm pretty sure that whichever show he decides to do, if it's not like a top, top level show, he has a very good chance of actually winning it and qualifying for Mr. Olympia once again. And this is how Brion Ainsley looks right now in the offseason. So there was talk that he's gonna move to 212 and that he actually should move to 212. But based on the way he's posing and the way he looks right now, that he didn't grow really so much, uh, I'm guessing he's not gonna do 212. He's gonna stick with classic, as he said originally. He likes it, he's passionate about it, he doesn't like bodybuilding that much, he likes to be a classic guy, he's two times Mr. Olympia winner, yeah, this year he took third, but he might come back, I don't think he can actually beat Chris, but he can probably be second again at least, which is a, a good achievement, maybe if Chris somehow messes it up with because of his kidney issues or that disease that he has, maybe he somehow messes it up and Brian actually wins, so he probably is counting on that as well. And yeah, this is his physique right now in the offseason, nothing special, nothing that we haven't seen before in his previous offseasons. But yeah, very impressive, very good classic physique for sure. So that's gonna do it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please like it. If you want to see more, subscribe and tell me what you think about whatever part of this video, especially that about Kai. What do you think? Is Kai coming back or not? Thank you very much, guys. All the best and keep it old school.